The nation is confronted with a ferocious public health enemy in this cholera epidemic. The death toll is unacceptably high. The case load very high. It is time to enhance cholera interventions. We need to strengthen evidence-informed leadership, coordination of the multi-sectoral response, and show unity of purpose in order to defeat this threat to our public health security. I commiserate with all families that have lost beloved ones. I salute the fallen nurse warrior who succumbed at the front line while fighting to save lives. As I salute the efforts of the frontline workforce and those stakeholders, I urge the government to consider strengthening the following areas. Strengthen leadership and enhance the multi-sectoral response in this public health war. We need to ensure we trigger and strengthen epidemic preparedness and response committees at national and sub-national levels. The National Public Health Institute must trigger emergency response systems and coordinate with all stakeholders to sufficiently respond to the cholera outbreak. This should include leveraging of resources to effectively respond to the epidemic. Let us thoroughly define this epidemic, map the epicenters and potential hotspots, identify factors fueling the epidemic, and as we do that, then escalate the upstream interventions to address those factors, the determinants of the disease, and upscale community level interventions to halt new infections. This should involve inter alia provision of adequate fresh water for consumption in epicenters, thorough cleaning of environments, and improving sanitation. We need to engage partners and urgently procure cholera vaccines and conduct mass vaccination in all hotspots. This will confer some immunity while you attend to primary determinants and many other social determinants of health. Let us discourage public gatherings for funerals for cholera victims and let us discourage overcrowding in hotspots and epicenters. Let us improve case management to deal with the case load and stop the deaths. Further, we need to improve logistics for infection prevention, surveillance, early detection, diagnosis and treatment. Laboratory diagnosis is key. Let us enhance investigations so that it helps us monitor the key parameters. We need to train, retrain, and deploy adequate human capital to provide community-based public health interventions to stop new infections and for case management to hold the deaths now. Sufficiently senior human capital must be deployed to supervise and provide leadership at the front line. Timelessly issue statutory instruments to identify adequate infrastructure to treat patients in environments that are spacious, clean, and well-equipped. These decisions must be timeless. Let us avoid managing patients in crowded places. You put patients and the staff at risk. Further, let's ensure optimal infection prevention measures to protect patients and staff. Data management is key to monitor the evolution of the epidemic and inform the response appropriately. I wish to emphasize the need for enhanced leadership for a coordinated multi-sectoral response to stop this ferocious assault on our public health security. As a nation, we need to demonstrate unity of purpose to win this war. And this war must be won.